Today I'm showing you how to get yourself in the perfect vibrational frequency for attracting the things that you want using pumpkins. This is the law of attraction like you've never heard it before. Hey, it's Andrew, otherwise known as the guy who wrote the last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read. And if you want to check out the book, you can very easily do so by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com, which will auto forward to the listing on Amazon. And I want to give a special formal thank you right now because I kind of said it in passing, but I haven't officially announced that the book has now sold over 75,000 copies. And I owe that all to you. So thank you to everyone who's picked up a copy, whether you've picked up the print version or the Kindle version or the audiobook version. I truly, truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for helping me get there. And thank you so much in advance to help me get beyond there because I cannot wait to announce 100,000 copies and more from there. So thank you. With that said, let's dive straight into today's content. And as I said in the introduction, I'm going to show you how to use pumpkins to really help you get in that vibrational resonance with the things that you want the most because anyone that's been paying attention, we are now in October and October, November, this is pumpkin season, right? And then people call it autumn, they call it fall. I mean, we're around the time of Halloween and Thanksgiving. I call it pumpkin season basically because at least in the States here where I'm at, anywhere you walk around, you see people displaying pumpkins in front of their homes. And I kind of think of that as a wonderful opportunity to use that for a gratitude method. And by the way, if you don't live in a place where they display pumpkins this time of year, you can still use what I'm teaching you here in some other way, some kind of modification with something other than pumpkin. So keep that in mind. But basically what I'm teaching today is what I like to call the pumpkin season method. And it's very simple. Knowing that there are pumpkins being displayed all over for the next few weeks, use that to your advantage. Take a nice healthy walk wherever you are in your neighborhood. And every time you see a pumpkin, use that as your cue to think of something that you're grateful for right now. It's that simple. You basically are giving yourself a nice, easy excuse to just think of thing after thing after thing that you're grateful for. And then by the time that you're done with your walk, you feel like a million bucks because you've thought of all these things. The really cool thing about this is you can actually modify this to make it even more potent because you know that one of my favorite methods from my book is the time lapse method where you're basically thinking of things from your past, your present, and even in your future in advance that you are grateful for. And you can do this exact same thing with the pumpkin season method because you think about it, here we are approaching Halloween. People don't just have pumpkins out. They've got scarecrows, they've got skeletons, they've got jack-o'-lanterns, they've got all these things you can use that to your advantage as well. For example, me, when I'm doing the pumpkin season method and I'm walking around, whenever I see an actual plain pumpkin, that's my cue to think of something in my present right now that I'm grateful for. But by the same token, if I see a jack-o'-lantern, I decided that I'm gonna use that as my cue to think of something from my past. And if I see anything else, a scarecrow, a skeleton, uh, whatever it might be, I'm using that as my cue to thank the universe in advance for something in my future. Either way, I'm always thinking of things I'm grateful for and I'm using my surroundings as my cue to do so. And that is the pumpkin season method. It really is that simple. And again, you know that I love simplicity. I love ease. I love making things user-friendly because this should always be user-friendly. This should always be convenient. This should always be something that it's very easy for you to be consistent with this so that you can get your momentum, so that you can get those things that you want and so that you can enjoy the journey while you're doing it. Again, if you're someplace where they don't have pumpkins on display this time of year, you can choose anything. You can choose, okay, I see a house with four windows. That's my cue. I see a house with a garage. That's my cue. I see a certain color of leaves on a tree. That's my cue. Whatever it might be when you're walking around your neighborhood or wherever it might be, that is basically your opportunity to find something in those surroundings that is an easy cue, an easy reminder for you to be grateful for something. Because as you know, gratitude is so powerful. It is just so potent. It will get you where you need to be from a vibrational standpoint towards inviting those things that you truly want. So now I would love to hear from you. Comment below. Let me know if you're going to be doing this the way I describe it. Let me know if you're going to be using other visual cues, whether it's pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns or otherwise for your gratitude. Give ideas in the comments below for anyone that might be watching this video and might be wondering what they can do besides pumpkins. 
Make this your opportunity to kind of share your ideas. And also, with that comment, get yourself entered into this month's contest where one lucky winner will walk away with lifetime access to Gravity of the Cosmos, my advanced level, full immersion guided program for manifesting your every desire through the law of attraction. You could learn more about Gravity of the Cosmos by going to gravityofthecosmos.com where I have a free training on three secrets for manifesting your desires faster than you ever thought possible. Or you can actually get a free preview of it through my book, The Last Law of Attraction Book You'll Ever Need to Read, because there's a link in this book to special bonuses, including the first few days of Gravity of the Cosmos, free of charge, so you can try before you buy, and you can very easily check out this book by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com, which will auto-forward to the listing on Amazon. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this method. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and be back soon because you know I will be with another video in the very near future. I will look forward to seeing you then.